Now, Victoria's Secret, the brand, is going back to its roots and dropping its feminist and woke makeover after, shock horror, a fall in sales. So GB News viewers can see what the catwalks used to look like. There we go. That's, um... Whatever that is, don't think I'm allowed to say much, am I? Really there, as an engaged man. Now, in 2018, the company rebranded and replaced the usual uh, people for a more uh, diverse range of body types. OK, so a wide range of body types there. Buyers said no way to woke lingerie. True, they suffered a financial blow when they put panties on Megan Rapinoe. <laughs> Victoria's Secret is apparently ditching their woke rebrand of recent years after it didn't translate to financial success. The company said they lost money on unsold merch and the yards of fabric needed to make plus size panties. Victoria's Secret, the iconic lingerie brand, has been struggling to keep up with the change in times. Now, after they went woke and went broke, the company has decided to get back to its roots. They're gonna get sexy back. Now today we talk about Victoria's Secret set and how they went broke for going woke and how they decided we're going to start making money again. This is exactly how this whole unfolded. Now for those of you who don't know what Victoria's Secret is, let me let you know. Victoria's Secret is a well-known lingerie brand. The company was founded in 1977 by Roy Raymond. Now, he wanted to create a place where men could buy lingerie for their wives without feeling embarrassed. Now, the company grew rapidly and became famous for its annual fashion shows featuring supermodels known as angels who wore elaborate costumes and wings. However, in recent years, the company faced criticism for its lack of diversity and representation. And then on top of that, it had a well-documented association with Jeffrey Epstein. We know what he's the naughty man for. Jeffrey Epstein had a close personal relationship with Leslie Wexler, the former CEO of L Brands, the parent company of Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret billionaire Leslie Wexner is under new scrutiny over his relationship with wealthy sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. In a series of interviews with the Washington Post, Accuser Maria Farmer says she blames Wexner for Epstein's alleged assault from 1996. Farmer says that she was molested by Epstein and his associate, Ghislaine Maxwell. She says that the assault happened on Wexler's property at the hands of his employees. Now, we need to talk about what Victoria's Secret was and what it was not. See, the reality is that Victoria's Secret was selling a fantasy, what people wanted to be. It wasn't telling people what they actually were. For example, if you go out there and buy a pair of Michael Jordan sneakers, you don't think about those other poor basketball players that didn't make the NBA, right? You think about the fantasy of being like Mike. And those shoes bring you closer to that fantasy. You're wearing Michael Jordan shoes. The same is true with Victoria's Secret. Even if you weren't the most attractive woman in the world, or if you're a husband buying lingerie for your wife, who is not Giselle Bunchen, or if you're a husband buying lingerie for your wife, who's not a supermodel, putting on the same clothes that supermodels wore made you feel like it, and in turn brought you closer to that fantasy. Think about this. Do people fantasize about looking like Megan Rapino? or Kate Upton in lingerie. Now we can reverse this. Do more people fantasize about playing soccer like Kate Upton or playing soccer like Megan Rapino? So the good people at Victoria's Secret seem to forget this point in an attempt to be on the right side of history. Victoria's Secret went woke and announced a dramatic shift in marketing strategy in June, 2021. The company ditched its famous angels and hired a diverse group of women as spokespeople, including star Megan Rapinoe, biological men or trans women, and plus size models. The move was meant to promote inclusivity and the feminist image, and to address concerns of women who felt alienated by the brand. This was now the woke fantasy. Its reputation was built on creating a sexy yet accessible fantasy, but critics say that fantasy was targeted toward men, not women. The company announced a sweeping overhaul yesterday that it says will better reflect the times and what women want. Gone is its stable of angels, the supermodels who starred in glossy ads and its annual big budget fashion show. The new faces of the brand are women who don't fit the traditional Victoria's Secret mold. Again, the fact that I feel comfortable in it. 
pieces are sort of interchangeable. I can wear them dressed up, dressed down, but ultimately even if you're just wearing them on their own, they're comfortable with something you can move in, you feel like free in it. People should never wear something they don't like or they don't feel comfortable in. However, this rebranding didn't translate into business success. The company's sales dropped in 2023, compared to the previous year. The company also faced criticism from some customers and commentators who accused it of abandoning its core identity and pandering to a woke culture. Because Victoria's Secret has gone woke. There's Giselle mm. since it was last on. Um, in 2019, they hired their first transgender model because, of course, right, yet another space that women used to dominate, and now, no. Um, the Angels were later replaced by Victoria's Secret Collective, an unparalleled group of trailblazing partners who share a common goal to drive positive change. Instead of Giselle, we have Megan Rapino. <laughs> Instead of <laughs> Stephanie Seymour, we have, uh, let's see, a refugee from South Sudan. We have, um, <laughs> of course, the plus size models. Uh, we've got Priyanka Chopra Jonas, because I don't know, she's diverse and she's married to a Jonas. Um, and they've been featuring women of all shapes and sizes as, a, as well as the various nods to uh, diversity and inclusion. As soon as they did that, FYI, Bridget, Bridget their sales fell 8% and they went down another 4.5% in the last year. <laughs> so people don't seem to be responding particularly well to the heavy set models who are refugees and also men. Welcome back. You know, wokeness may be hurting Victoria's Secret's bottom line. Uh, it has been years, I don't know if you've noticed, since the Angels walked the runway after the lingerie company canceled its iconic fashion show back in 2019 and has since ditched the Angel Wings in its marketing all together. It also tapped soccer star and liberal activist Megan Rapinoe to represent the brand. But those changes, they're not really paying off. In fact, not yet anyway. Sales have reportedly dropped by four and a half percent in the last quarter alone. And now the company is actually firing 160 management level employees. That's a move that's expected to save the company about $40 million. So clearly they are hurting. And the, the label behind Victoria's Secret has always been women. Why can't women be women? I mean, honestly, and that's what this woke nature is bringing up that we can't appreciate women. Women do wear lingerie, correct? Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, okay, I don't understand. You. The world is so woke, but we can't mm -hmm. have angels in a flat fashion show. Now, in light of the financial disaster of using biological men in women's lingerie to sell female sexiness to your 90% heterosexual customer base, it wasn't a shock that people didn't buy in to the woke fantasy. So now with sales dropping dramatically, Victoria's Secret decided to revert back to the original branding that emphasized sexiness over wokeness. The company plans to bring back the runway show, which it canceled back in 2019. It now features models who embody the classic Victoria's Secret look, the fantasy of beauty and not the reality of woke politics. The lingerie brand's makeover efforts included making Megan and trans model Valentina Sampaio spokesmodels, as well as getting rid of their famous angels. But their chief executive told investors last week, quote, despite everyone's best endeavors, it's not been enough to carry the day. Uh, who could have told you that, you idiot? So they're returning to what works, hot models. Recent campaigns featured Haley Bieber and Emily Ratajkowski. The decision to go back to basics reflects Victoria's Secret's aim to recover from the sales slump by going back to a marketing strategy that had previously proven successful for the brand. Sexy women in sexy clothes. The company hopes to regain its loyal customer base and attract new ones under its old image. I can't even say it's revamped, it's actually its old image. The Victoria's Secret lingerie brand has decided to drop its woke feminist makeover from a few years ago to promote body positivity. And they're now going to, mad idea, prioritize sex appeal over female empowerment after being hit with falling sales. The American lingerie brand stopped its catwalks with its signature Angels in 2018 and declared it wanted to be the world's leading advocate for women, a lingerie brand. But it now seems it's decided that going woke does mean going broke and they've decided to backtrack. On well, folks, it seems that Victoria's Secret has learned the hard way that you can't please everybody. In their quest to be more woke, they alienated their core customer base. Like guys going to a strip club and finding out it's now a church. See, Victoria's Secret was selling sex 
It wasn't selling inclusiveness. And the people who were selling sex too wanted to have sex with attractive people. And the fantasy of seeing those attractive people in those sexy clothes. Now this is not hard to explain, but the company who has made billions of dollars seems to forgot this. The simple point, it was selling sexy clothes to normal people using sexy models as the fantasy of what it could be. Now, what's the moral of the story? Stick to what you know, because trying to please everyone, you'll end up at the end pleasing no one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff, and something like 70% of you or not subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, just hit that button. And don't forget to like this video because the more you engage with this video, like, share, comment, subscribe, the better this video does. My name is Ate the Lawyer and I'll see you next time. Peace.